We're back. I'm going to give you guys a grand tour of the tiny house, the winterizing process, and all we got going on. But first, I need a jacket. Oh. All right, let's go. All right, give you the tour of the house real quick. Um, this is our tiny. You can see. Uh, there she is, in the snow. We're currently, this is siding. Well, it's it's two inch foam. Um, we've painted black to match the house and we're currently in the process of cutting it to side to go along here. That's gonna keep the wind out from the bottom, keep our pipes from freezing, and keep our house, our floor a little bit warm. Um, so we're going around the house. We got this side pretty much done. And we got our gray water line here. We got some heat tape going on. Keep it from freezing. Running out the bottom here. We got our heated hose rated to negative 40 degrees. I don't think it should get that cold. Running and it's just laying up in the snow all along here up to the house. And we got Jay Bear, meet Jay Bear. He's helping us with the house. That's Jana's dad. And that's it. Let's get to work. Hey, remember our YouTube friends? Yeah. Yeah, say hello. Can you say hello? Come here. Come here, come here. There he is. Say hi. Are you hiding? There he is. Can you say hi? <laughs> All right. Going to the hardware store. Got a lot to do today. Um, we're still settling in on the tiny house. I guess I hadn't really unpacked as to why we are in Maine. Obviously, we're in Maine because there's snow everywhere. Uh, it was five degrees last night. It's quite a bit difference from California weather. You know, in San Francisco, we get fog there, but that's, that's about it. I need to my breath. Um, yeah, I think the biggest reason, well, I'll get to this when we're driving. How about it? <laughs> I feel like that's probably a good spot. Can you see me? I'm driving a new vehicle. Get that shade going. I'm driving a new vehicle, so I, I, I don't know if this is a good angle or not. I have a lot of explaining, explaining to do. We, it's been a while. I would say damn near a year since we last put a vlog up. And we've shot a couple since, but we just never put them up. And there's a reason for that. Um, you know, one, we we focused a lot on Instagram here recently and it's been it's been great we've also been busy very busy life sort of I guess got in the way so the, the big updates and I need to talk you guys through um, one obviously we're in Maine and uh, <laughs> what the hell we literally decided to move to Maine within we by the day we decided our house was on the road within five days um, actually by the day we five days from the day we had the idea and there's a reason why it happened so quickly. Number one, we're pregnant. We got a, another little kid on the way, so Silas is gonna have a baby brother. Um, we're thinking his name is gonna be, ah, uh, you'll have to wait and find out what his name's gonna be, I guess. So we're officially gonna be a family of four in a tiny house. And in California, there just wasn't, we didn't have that support system because none of our family was from there, and we did, it was great for the first, 
year or two years of Silas's life, it was phenomenal because we were able to, with one kid, still go on a lot of adventures and have a lot of fun. And we really, I felt like we got the most out of California that you could possibly get. But no family, no support system. We're also younger relative to the median age of having kids in California. And so we really never found our spot, if you will. And uh, Jana's family is from Maine. And so we're here. They have a bunch of land up in the Bangor area. It's very remote. I'm talking like the town they live in has got like 2,000 people in it. In addition to that, we get the idea like everyone in a tiny house wants that sprawling land. It's not like, and we've been doing the backyard, side yard thing parking lot thing for for a while um check out previous episodes if you want to see our past spots but we had just we've been re we're, we're ready we're ready to like spread out stretch out our toes you know build a garage dig a well have a garden do all that stuff that tiny house is really it's part of the dream right so we're here to kind of do that and um we decided it just everything clicked one weekend and we made a couple of calls and it all worked out and so we're here in May. It's snowier. It was five degrees last night. It snowed twice since I've been here. And I'm headed to the hardware store to, we're still sort of, we came late in the winter. We're still literally trying to winterize our house and it snowed like two or three times. Um, but that's just because we decided like right before the first of December to move up here. And it was either now, the timing wise, it was either now and come and try to beat the snow and make it work and be settled by spring because, excuse me, baby number two, yep. I have hiccups, excuse me, when I, when I drink coffee. Cheers, I get hiccups. Anywho, um, baby number two is coming in April, end of April, and so we could, of course, wait until the snow melts right around then and, and settle into the spring, but Jana would have been nine months pregnant, and that seemed like a more difficult experience than coming and just trying to wrestle with the snow a little bit. So we're here a little bit early, getting the winter eyes a little bit late. I'll sort of, over the next maybe couple of episodes, detail um, what we're doing with the tiny house and our process for all that it's been uh we've had it's been a new thing we did obviously not plan to live in the snow country so um, i'm new at this that said if you guys have any tips on how to winterize a tiny house uh always all years let me know comments below um let's go to the hardware store <laughs> all right and at the lows we've got to get well we're running the power to our tiny house and so um, what we got to get are fuses because we're running our 10 gauge right out of the breaker in the house that we're parking by. Um, got to get two single 30 amp fuses and I got to get a 125 30 amp plug to run my cord from my tiny house into the wall. So uh, let's go do that. Other thing on the agenda today for, well, I've got all my materials, but winterizing the tiny house, you've got to put skirting. Um, I'll kind of talk you through that in a bit, but we're about 85% done. So in addition to the power, we are going to, and I pass electrical, we're going to try to finish up the skirting. And the goal right now is to be moved into the tiny house within two days on Monday. Still waiting on a, on a couple of things in the mail, but we're ready. We're ready to move in. All right, fuses, fuses. Fuses. Here we go. Uh, 30 amp. 30 amp. 30 amp. That's a double pole. We don't need that. We need single. Here we go. 30 amp. 30 amp. Single pole. We'll call that good. One, two. Ding, ding. All right. Now what? We need plug, 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 plug. Okay. We're sort of making our own um, cord and plug to run. It's totally jerry-rigged. You might even call it redneck what we're doing, but it's gonna work. We tested it last night. I just gotta find a plug, which may or may not be on the next. Da, 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 da. 
Yeah, I think that's gonna be on the next row. Fast forward. Check it out, right there. You got it. It's the uh, really good look at that. Got the 30 amp, 125 volt plug. That's what we're gonna connect our tiny house to. Um, we have a about a hundred foot eight gauge, 10 gauge extension core. It's gonna twist lock right into that, into the tiny house. Cut that. We gotta get this ice on the side down. Yeah. But I'm where I wanna be here. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna melt that off there. Yeah. And then we'll do the same thing on that cut. Remember we talked about What are you doing? Winterizing. Fun. It's cold. Snow's cold, baby. Did you know that? <laughs> oh. Cool. Got it. Huh? Oh, 
Mommy's gonna jump. Hmm? Mommy's gonna jump. Yeah, watch mommy. Hmm? Yeah, watch mommy. I'm gonna jump. Okay? Ready? Ready. Ready? Mommy's gonna one, two, three. Bow in there. You filming? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are you doing now? All right, so check it out. This is, we've saved it to last because obviously it's the most complicated. We're trying to figure out how to seal this off. There's so much going on up under the tongue that the measurements are gonna be tough, but that's all we have, J-Bear. You look more like a manor, but you don't look quite like a manor. Good. <laughs> Dad looks like a manor. <laughs> You're almost there. Need a few more inches on the beard <laughs> and uh, some less tight pants. Less tight pants. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <sighs> Got the tiny house winterized. Give it a tour. Check it out. It's black. Foam siding, painted black, sealed up. And then we just finished this back end here. Um, everything's taped up all up under the air conditioning so nothing's getting through. And I'm about to run get my weather box, my power cords. I'm about to run the power cord up the side of the house and I'm gonna hang some lights up in the top. But We'll be moving in over the next couple weeks, getting settled, make sure to take you guys on a journey. We're still kind of getting things around the outside, so let's go say hello to Jana. Yeah.